Welcome back everyone to Pontos Fathom Hobbies. This is Season 8, Episode 4 of Conan by Monolith. And we are playing the custom-made expansion called Conspiracy in Kauran. And it features the Conan Crossbowman uh, expansion set. So we've got uh, Crossbowman minis here. Crossbowman shields on their back ready for battle we've also got uh, bosonian archers and bosonian guards coming in on this one and captain of the guard accused of potentially conspiring against the queen conan and company hydrathus and belit are on a mercenary mission to prove the he's involved with some treachery by collecting the spell book from one of those two chests so our strategy this round is let's make it toward those chests take out some of the, some of these crossbowmen before reinforcements arrive and get that spell book uh, back to um, our funders our mercenary backers so that we can uh, make a bit of coin off of this exposed treachery as conan is often able to do uh, quick shout out to Pontos Fathom Press, sponsor of the channel. Disclosure from the Necronomicon Fragment, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. We've got a bookstore link down in the description. Uh, check out these and other books. Uh, as I was mentioning in this um, setup for Conspiracy in Cowron, Lovecraft and um, Robert E. Howard had correspondences. Maybe uh, next turn I'll read, I'll read a passage of, of them, of them uh, corresponding with each other. But... I'm also thinking of doing a Conan mashup with Cthulhu Wars minis, uh, doing some kind of custom scenario with them. So if you like custom scenarios, modding games, uh, you're in the right place. Let's jump right into turn four of, uh, of this episode. So I'm going to dredge these down and uh, clear these across. And same for the player here so I'm leaving these are the hit points for these but the rest of these five move back across uh, so we'll jump right into heroes turn uh, our heroes Conan is quite occupied uh, with this captain of the guard he's got high hit points Hydrathus if he breaks line of sight with that character I think he should be fine so what he'll do is uh, Hydrathus is going to play uh, movement here sorry movement here also prepare the spell of lightning storm and we've already got the uh, uh, mitra's halo set up as well so i believe we are okay there uh, for bellet obviously i said she's going to make a beeline for that room and that's exactly what she'll do she'll forget about these archers for now she's going to run right into this uh, room and try to check this out and and have to face off with that crossbowman uh, Conan, let's have him arm uh, his weapon. Uh, I think he might do two die rolls here because he's in combat. And he's also going to be taking some damage from uh, these crossbowmen potentially. So we'll see how that, that turns out. So let's jump right into Conan first. Uh, Conan's got two, plus his sword gives him a... Conan's sword gives him a orange die. So we'll roll this against the captain of the guard. Uh, we get four. I'm going to give Conan a re-roll on this one as well. And I'll just have him re-roll this one. Get four out of this. So the captain has three armor. So three out of six. That means he'll take three damage on this. So let's see. One, two, and three. That leaves him with four hit points. These are hit points. They're not going into the... Uh... So Conan is good with that attack. Um, let's go over to Belit. Belit's going to run one, two. Uh, she's in this chamber with this character, and let's have her also have an attack as well. Um, let's give her two attack as well. So she will roll three orange dice. And she also does six damage. Uh, the crossbowman has armor of uh, one so she removes one from this and this crossbowman is also slain 
So Billet is also can take a hand here and she will roll a die test. And she turns over this and whoa, she's got the spell book already. Right, so the spell book is already present here. The other chest is the empty chest. So we've got spell book and empty chest. Build it, add spell book to her, um, to her inventory. Uh, next up, Hydrathus. Like I mentioned, he will break. He no longer needs to break um, and run. So let's have Hydrathus just cast that spell instead. And he's going to put the three coins on that lightning storm. And he will send that again against uh, the crossbowman in the room. Uh, for a total of five damage, crossbowman does two. So that's three damage for him. And this crossbowman is all also uh, removed from the, from the game. That's going to wrap it up for the hero's turn. Let's jump over to the overlord's turn. So we get the overlord. Uh, we'll, we'll turn over one of our AI cards here. And we get the Bostonian guards activating. Uh, and the Bostonian guards will activate. So do we have any Bostonian guards left? We have these two. So sort of a general alert comes out, we'll say. So this Bostonian guard will come out. He has motion of... First of all, we pay our one coin here. And this Bosonian guard moves to the end of the, the river. He has a movement of two, so he does one, two movement here. Our other Bosonian guard has a movement of two as well, one, two. Let's give them extra movement. Um, so we'll give them an extra two movement each. So we'll have this Bosonian guard uh, go one, two to fight Hydrathus. And this Bostonian guard also. Uh, one more move to combat Conan. So Bostonian guards activated. Uh, let's have a look at these. These are the blue ones. I painted these blue, uh, five blue, five green, and five red to sort of you know imply different divisions. But if you want to go check out the painting video for these um, by all means, it's one of my first painting videos, so uh, I've gotten quite into the miniature side of the hobby. And yeah, yeah, check, go check them out. So, uh, real fun painting them and getting them, getting them on the board here. So first off, we'll have uh, our Bostonian guard attack Hydrathus. He has got a orange and yellow die that he can roll. And he gets three. Hydrathus has, um, he gets a shield for two dice. I mean, sorry, one orange die for shield. And he blocks none of that damage. I'm going to give him a reroll on that. And he can reroll it. He gets two blocks, so he takes one point of damage. And same for the uh, other Bosonian guard. Engaging Conan, he does uh, three attack as well. And I'm going to have to give this Bostonian guard a reroll. That's just that's just a shame. So we give him a, a gem for reroll on the Overlord side. So he does three three damage uh, to Conan. Conan's armor is a single orange die. Let's see how much that soaks up. So he takes one from that die. He also is able to add um, so he takes two damage or do I have him put a shield roll up let's have him do a shield move as well so Conan will roll the shield and then he can also use his sword as the shield basically so that's two dice here so it costs him two but he blocks down to one so we actually take one damage from that so Conan has got two attackers he does have his sweeping attack so he should be able to uh, make quick work of these guys in turn in round five. Uh, so I think that's going to wrap it up for, for uh, round number four. Uh, Bellet has got the spell book, which can get us paid. If Conan can clear out these guys, the general alert is kind of sounded now, right? We've got uh, crossbowmen slain. 
we've got Bosonian guards activated. So let's see how we, how the heroes t uh, fare in turn five. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.